is there value in doing events at local schools? For example, a local school in a target area offers to let me attend the halftime. Oh, wait, attend a football. Okay. So basically what they're asking is value doing local events at schools. For example, a local school in my target area offers me this question's written kind of strange. I think what they're asking here <laughs> is that is it worth sponsoring local events? Uh, it looks like this person is saying um, they're going to they have an opportunity to sponsor the halftime show at a football game for their local high school. I think is what's going on. Um, OK, so, yeah, I think that local events are good. I mean, you know what it comes down to is what are you going to get out of the local event? I don't know what type of practice area this is, but, you know, it, it's the type of thing where you, you always lawyers are a tricky thing because nobody uh, a lot of people don't necessarily need a lawyer right away. So it's kind of a branding element. Um, so, you know, there's kind of a branding element that you can use. Um, I think it's good. I think it depends on what the cost is, obviously. And then there's also, you know, do your kids go to the school? You know, how charitable are you feeling? All that type of stuff. But you really never know by going out in the community, you never know what doors that's going to open for you. I've gotten a lot of different uh, opportunities just by meeting different people. So having that exposure is, is definitely good. Um, you know, I don't know what type of, I don't know what type of, uh, uh, of law firm you are. So it's kind of hard to say, uh, you know, so you're giving away magnets and giving away other things. I mean, what I would do is I would focus on giving away things that people are going to hang on to. So for example, if you're a personal injury lawyer, um, I mean, a magnet might be okay. Maybe they'll put it on the refrigerator. I don't know. Would you, I, I don't know that I would, if a personal injury lawyer handed me a magnet and the idea is to put that magnet on my refrigerator so that when I get injured, um, I'm going to go to my refrigerator and look at them and look at that magnet and call them. Would I do that? I don't know if I would do that. Probably not. Um, but what I would do is I would accept a free cell phone holder that, you know, you can put on in one of those air vent cell phone holders that has your, your name and phone number, uh, screen printed on it. Um, you know, or like something like, like a, like a mini flashlight or something like, you know, like some sort of like emergency kit for your car. Somebody gave me that idea. That's not my original idea. Somebody came up with that. I can't remember who it was talking about emergency kit for your car. That was pretty cool. Um, but I mean like, and I know this isn't appropriate for, um, for a high school, but like we even had like criminal defense lawyers one time that I had them create lighters, um, with their information and go to local bars and just give the lighters to the bartenders to give away for free. Um, because, and it worked, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, think about, does anybody actually like this? You know, now here's something else. Like a lot of people give away t-shirts and this is one of my biggest pet peeves of all time. If you're going to give away a t-shirt, I think a t-shirt is a great thing to give away if, and this is a major, major if, if you get a really high quality t-shirt. People a lot of times will cheap out on the quality of the t-shirt and they get these t-shirts that feel like sandpaper. And what ends up happening is nobody ever wears them. I've got t-shirts. I literally have t-shirts that are 20 years old that I've had since I was in high school. And I still wear them because they're really, really comfortable. So if that was like a really comfortable shirt, I don't care what it says on the front of it. If it says, you know, John Smith, personal injury attorney, I'm wearing that shirt you know, because it's a comfortable shirt. And I mean, you know, so, so like stuff like that, you got to think about the end user. If you're going to give away things, think about, is it something that people are actually going to hang on to? Cause that's the key because people don't maybe necessarily need a lawyer right this second, but if you can create something and give them something that, that gives them a reason to hold on to it, you know, something that people actually can use, then that'd be really good. So, uh, value in doing events at local schools. Yes. Depends on the price, obviously. Um, you know, make sure you talk to a lot of people. If you're someone like an, like an estate planning attorney, for example, what you should do is if you're going to set up a table, if you're going to set up a booth, and really, this is really good for, this is really good advice for any business or any, any, any attorney. If you're setting up a booth or something, do not just have a giant sign that says Johnson law firm, have a giant sign that says, ask me how I can protect your money or something like that. You know, like basically like what you want to do is you want to advertise the benefit. So for example, if I was going to a marketing, if I was going to a lawyer event and I was actually setting up a booth, I would not have big signs behind me that say social fire starter or Andrew stickle. What I would say, I'd have a giant sign that says, I help law firms get more clients. 
because that's what they care about. They care about how does this benefit them? What are you going to do for them? So that's what you really need to focus on with all your messaging. So everything you do should always focus on uh, you know, the, the, the consumer or the, 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 the purchase person using it, everything from the messaging to how you get their attention. You know, Johnson law firm's not going to, not going to get their attention. Um, ask me how to make sure that, you know, your, your kids will not go to the crazy cat lady. If the worst happens, you know, your, your, your aunt, your aunt with the, your crazy aunt with all the cats, if the worst happens, that's the type of thing that, that gets people's attention. Um, and then if you're giving away things, make sure it's stuff that's actually useful. So that is my advice there.